the way, every time I listen to Rod Wave, I just be like, oh my gosh, I really love it. Like, I really love this because it just be real. Because, you know, people be people go through this shit. So, it's like, you know, when you speak on, like, how you feel and people start to feel similar. People, you know, shit relates to them. That shit really be hitting different, like, for real. JB Moro, go and get your bag. What's up, you guys? This is Savannah. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn to see your girl, because it's a vibe. We are back with another one. Okay, y'all, so hold on. Let's get to what we're reacting to. We're going to be reacting to Rod Wave Last Lap. Now, Rod Wave just dropped an album. We react to one of the songs on it. Y'all know I fuck with Rod Wave, so it's time to bring the tempo down a little boom, boom, boom to the sad, because you know he do the little sad music. So I'm ready for this. Let's go ahead and get straight into this. And huh? I swear, Rod Wave, whoever broke his heart, they put him in this fucking vibe and said, keep your ass in it. Because, boo. Yes, I love that. Yes, I love that. Before we get into this, I love who is that in the beginning of the song? Like, if y'all could put that down in the comments below, if y'all know. But I really love when people like have another like somebody singing in the beginning of the song. I just be like, oh yes, oh yes. Yeah. Oh, Rod Wave. He fuck with Rod Wave. And it's like, damn, I feel like he's battling depression. He's putting that shit in the music. That's why I be hating when people joke on him. But damn, like, and one advice I want to give to Rod Wave, you got to always learn to let go of whether who it is, what it's a thing, item, person. You gotta learn how to let go sometimes because that that most definitely if you keep holding on to something that shit can can, uh, can prevent better things that's meant to come for you just gonna stop put a pause on a lot of good things that's meant to come even though you got a lot of good things going on with yourself but yes yes just learn to let go boy and i know it should be hard especially when you're grieving and shit you got this boy Ride plotting on a plan. Me and my nigga had a bond, the world would understand. God help a nigga understand this crazy life of mine. So yeah. Court dates, suits and ties. I get to thinking about my nigga, I can't help but cry. Tell me how you leave me, nigga, without saying bye. Remember how we used to ride, dog, to you and me. We beat that road, we should have been sponsored by GSC. Deep in my heart, I don't think I could live this life without you. In the states and street lights make me think about you. Clean the clothes and sprinter vans make me shut up till you made me cry just like a baby, dog. Gotta keep going in my brain, but in my heart I'm feeling pain. Beefing with depression, wish I had someone to blame. I'm following your every move, go on and lead the way. If you went for fat and pain, nigga, I'll follow you to the grave. Yo, I really love this. Like, I fuck with Rod Wave for real, and I understand how it is to grieve. You know, that's why I say I can't. You can't put no, oh, just get over it. Da -da 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 -da. Like, but you most definitely. It's really no date. Like, it's people grieving so many different ways. And I just pray that he, he get better and he don't let the grievance take over. Because that shit can get hard, you know. Especially when you lost somebody close to you. But you gotta learn how to just let them go. And just, you know, know that they in a better life. And just better things are for them. You know, I understand it's hard. Especially when you really attached to that person. But that's what I had to learn myself, you know? You know? Let them be happy and live their f actual life. You get what I'm saying? So. Because you know once you leave here, you going right back to your actual life. So. <clears throat> you you yes. That's all you got to do is keep fucking going. Yes. You the go. I know. Oh, I know. I ain't ready to let go, my nigga. And I've been through so many 
things, but this shit the hardest. Tell me why I'm feeling pain, always broken hearted. Yeah, One thing I really that. like about him is how real he is. Like, he don't give a fuck how much y'all clown him. He gonna really let, like, how he feel get off his chest. He ain't gonna sugarcoat it. If he going through shit, if he feel depressed, if he feel whatever, he, he gonna let it be known. And I like that because that's the only way to get better is this facial problem. So, I fuck with that. Yeah, I know that's right. Tell me, do they let those gangsters in them heaven parties? Tell my nigga a fat feasor that I'm fucked up by them. And tell my nigga rock, I'm sorry that I left without them. And they ask if I'm okay, I just lie about it. To myself, I cry about it, then get high about it. And niggas knew how you was feeling, and they let me know. You could have told me anything, I wouldn't tell a soul. Tell me why I see me sign, I can't stop from crying. Tell me that you ain't a hide, and I wouldn't leave your side. Nigga, we undefeated, why you read like this? We did the impossible, it ain't true, can't fit. Nigga, it's impossible for me to see you like that. Tell me how do I move forward without you watching my back? And tell me how do I move on or that you gone? I can't. It's the last lap on the turtle race. Every step I can hear you say, keep going. Yeah. Bitch, I swear, every time I listen to Rod Wave, I just be like, oh my gosh, I really love it. Like, I really love this because it just be real. Because, you know, people be people go through this shit. So, it's like, you know, when you speak on, like, how you feel and people start to feel similar. People, you know, shit relates to them. That shit really be hitting different, like, for real. Look, y'all, I ain't gonna cry because y'all know I've, I'm going through grievance and all that too. It may not look like it, but I know one of my videos, I fucking broke down. I think it was the Lil Dirk video. Oh my gosh. I love real music. Like, really, that like hit your soul. Like, you get what I'm saying? It really helps. Keep going. Just tell them, keep going. Yeah. think oh my gosh i love it 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 a lot and i just i'm proud of how strong he is and i can just say that like i'm really proud of how strong it is because going through so much shit and you could tell the pain in the songs like just going through so much shit and then have an online bash you at one point in time and da -da -da -da. i know that shit can get hard and you still having to go through shit and get through shit daily and daily and daily but yes i'm proud of right way and keep going and doing your shit like he said in the song and I know, I know, like, when you're dealing with shit, it could get hard, and people really can't tell you, like, oh, da 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 But, you know, just give advice, and I fuck with it. Like, he really helped a lot of people that's going through similar things, and that's why I really fuck with his music. And I will most definitely always give his music a chance. I will react to it, because y'all know I don't really listen to music outside my reaction. So that's why I'd be so excited to start listening to some of these artists. I'm like, oh, my God. But he did his thing. I loved it. You know, he's always bringing the usual raw wave. And I'm fucking with it. But what y'all think about this in the comments? And y'all put y'all comments down below. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Turn to your girl because it's a vibe. And I am out this thing. I hope y'all like this reaction. Like I said, put down in the comments. Follow me on all platforms in Savannah. And I am out this thing.